So I haven't seen any videos of people actually using crud cutter, crud cutter to clean an engine. I'm more than positive it's gonna do the job just fine. Let's go ahead and show you what we got. So that's all dirty. These valve covers are very dirty. This needs to be cleaned up. I'm gonna clean all this up. Try to knock off some of this paint, knock off some of the surface rust. I'm not cleaning the oil pan because I cracked it. New one's on the way. And as many of y'all may know, crack cutter's my thing. I'm probably gonna change out the valve cover gasket as well. I need a bucket of water so I can dip my tool in. I do wonder if this is gonna do any better. Oh yeah, that's so much better. That's nice. This is turning out pretty good. I'm pretty satisfied. Look how clean that looks. And we just look at that. Crud cutter does a pretty good job. Let's clean this gunk, 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 gunk. And if you're wondering if this is going to scratch a block, it's not. It's very uh, soft metal. That's probably about as clean as I can get it. I'm gonna go do that side and I'm back. All right, ladies and gents, time to clean up the last portion of this. That looks pretty good if I do say so myself. Time to do the valve cover gaskets. Old and crusty, new and freshy. All snugged up. I'm gonna do that side now. You don't need to watch that. Uh, I'll be back. Then we're gonna do the water pump. Like that, and something like, like that. Uh, hang on, like that. Gasket is on. 
you should really be using thread locker and I really meant to have some but I forgot to get some never had an issue not using thread locker The water pump takes two passes of the torque wrench. First pass is going to be 11 foot pounds, second pass, 22. Alright, guys, so that's basically it. Uh, we basically buttoned up this LNS 4.8 pretty nicely, I'd say. I'm definitely pretty happy the way it turned out, and I'm very excited to get into the Tahoe. That crud cutter definitely cut through some crud on this LS engine. That's all for today. If you want to follow along on the engine swap on the Tahoe, then I'll see you in the next video. This is Chris Automotive. I always appreciate and respect one another. I'll see you in the next video.